Hi, my name's Evan, and in this video I'm going to go over Unplugged, the software that comes included with your ProColor 3 panel uh, that allows you to connect wirelessly to student or teacher devices, whether those are laptops, Chromebooks, iPads, or mobile devices. First, let's locate Unplugged on the sidebar here. If you open the menu, it's going to be this blue icon here with the little symbol that looks like a Wi-Fi symbol. Once you open that up, you'll see a screen here with some options to help students connect to your panel. Once this is all set up, you won't actually have to have this application open on screen here for students to connect to the ProColor panel. This is just to help everybody get started, and then once it's all up and running, students can connect whenever they need to. Let's go through this screen here. On the left here, you'll see an install section that has a web address as well as a QR code. Once students scan that, they'll be taken to Unplugged.app. It's a website where they can download the appropriate version of the Unplugged software for their laptop or Chromebook or whatever they're using. Next, you'll want to make sure that all of the student devices and this panel are on the same network. If the devices are on a different internet network than the panel, they won't be able to talk to each other and communicate, so make sure that everybody is connected to the same network. Right, once that's set up, you're ready to start connecting. I'll use the laptop here to go over how to set it up on the computer, and then we'll work on connecting to the panel. All right, once you download Unplugged onto the student or teacher device, you can go ahead and open that up, and you'll see either a list of devices here or a space to enter a PIN code. So if the panel is protected by a PIN code, for instance, you won't see it listed in the devices here. But right now, my ProColor 3 is available to connect, and we'll just go ahead and try there. Now you'll see over here on the panel that I have a teacher control center that has just popped up with a little notification, little number one by it, to let me know that a student has connected to the panel. Now here on the app, I can choose whether I want to share my screen. What that does is that will put the laptop screen onto the ProColor 3 so everyone can see what's going on on the smaller screen up on the large panel. The other option is IFP Mirror. That will do the reverse. That will take the ProColor screen and show it on the laptop. Showing the ProColor screen directly on student devices is a great way to reach students who might have mobility issues or need visual accessibility options. It brings the panel screen right up right next to them, so if they're not able to make it to the board to interact with the content, or they have trouble seeing from the back of the room, it'll be right there, very convenient for them. On the laptop, I will go and select Share Screen here. And now you'll see that my laptop screen is showing up here on the Pro Color. One of the features that's available on a Windows PC or a Mac when you're using the Unplugged app to share is that the ProColor touchscreen can also control the computer. So here, for example, I can pull up my web browser and I can scroll here all again wirelessly. Now let's look at sharing the other direction where we take the ProColor screen here and bring that down onto the computer's screen. So here I'll go to IFP Mirror and select that option. And now you see I have the screen here on my laptop. I also can control it here. This side menu here will allow me to go home, for instance. I can click anywhere on the screen to open an application, and I can also use the annotation tools that are built into the panel in case I need to mark something up from the laptop. All right, the last thing I want to talk about with Unplugged are some control settings that will allow you to manage who is allowed to share content with your display and when. So here you'll notice that I have this control center that pops up here. When I have students connected, it will tell me how many, it will tell me their names as well, which is a great way to identify which computers or which students are trying to do what. And then I'm also able here to control what they're allowed to do, whether they're allowed to annotate the screen, share content, I can manually disconnect them using this icon here. And then I can set up some security controls that will lock things down a little bit. You'll notice here I have everything allowed at the moment, but for example, I can tell the panel here that anybody wanting to share their screen with the ProColor 
will need authorization first. That way it will pop up a little warning to me on the panel here that a student is trying to connect and I can either approve or deny that request. That'll keep things a little more controlled. In the Unplugged app here, there are also some similar settings. I can make students connect using a PIN code, for example. Once that's selected, it will show up on this screen here. So it's nice and large, students can still see it, but that way students will have to actually know the code of the display. They won't be able to connect to, for example, a different room's display. I also want to point out in these settings that there are multiple screens that can be shared at once. I can select up to nine, and that way I can have up to nine students sharing content on the display here. It will just make those screens a little bit smaller and tile them in a grid of nine as more and more connect. All right, well that wraps up the unplugged section here. If you have additional questions about connecting external devices here or using the software on the panel, you can check out some of the other videos in this series.